What's going on you guys, it's Forrest with my GoBros TCG and today I am bringing to you my Flower Cardian Exodia FTK deck profile. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Alright, so first off, obviously, we got the five pieces of the Forbidden One. Easy enough. Then we got three Flower Cardian Pine. He's the hard normal summon of the deck, level 1 warrior. Basically, if he's normal summoned, you draw a card. It's pretty nice. <laughs> Three, Flower Cardian, Cherry Blossom. Now, Cherry Blossom's pretty cool. So basically, the way these Flower Cardians work is that if you have other, if you got other ones, you get more. And as you keep getting more, they, they all have effects to either draw a card and add it to your hand if it's a Flower Cardian, and so on and so forth. After that, we have three Flower Cardian Peony with Butterfly. Now, basically, she's one of the tuners of the deck. She's the main tuner that you run in your main deck. Um, pretty nice. She lets you stack your opponent's deck, or at least the top three cards, which is pretty cool. And if you know you contribute a Flower Cardian to summon her, and basically when they're summoned, they draw. Three Zebra Grass. She's pretty nice. When she's summoned, you can reveal Flower Cardian monsters in your hand, shuffle them back into the deck, draw the same number of cards. My personal favorite, Willow. This is the one you would kind of abuse the most, in my opinion. You shuffle one from the graveyard back to the deck, draw one. And then Pawina. Uh, basically, this is just another name. So the thing that, of these specific Flower Cardians, there are other ones in the archetype. You run these because these ones are all of the ones that you can summon with all of the ones in the deck. Now what I mean by that is that they all basically say a level 11, 10, 9, 8, whatever, or lower. So basically if you get your lowest level, you can still summon out any of the other ones. And that's really a key thing to how these Flower Cardians work. Moving on to the spells... Three flower stacking. Uh, this card's nice. It literally is exactly what it is. You choose three flower cardian monsters and put them on the top of your deck. Recardination. This card's pretty great. You target a flower card in your graveyard, bounce it to your hand, and special summon one from your hand, ignoring summoning conditions. Flower gathering. Solid one of in this deck. Basically, you su you special summon four flower cardian monsters uh, with a thousand attack. Or sorry, with a hundred attack and different names from your deck in attack position, and they can't be used for basically anything other than the Synchro Summon of a Flower Cardian monster. I have three D Synchro. I have three D Synchro. This card is amazing. Essentially what it is is you can target a Synchro monster on your field, Return that target to the extra deck and then summon all of the monsters that were used for the Synchro Summon. Advanced draw, tribute a level later, higher monster, draw two. Alara Darkness, they're all darks. They're all, uh, you know, monster reincarnation, discard it, we'll put one back. Monster reborn and reinforcements of the army. Now I want to talk about Desynchro real quick. I'm going to highlight this card in the deck. So a thing that y'all need to keep in mind if you play this deck that the Flower Cardians activate when they are Special Summoned. So this card will trigger the Flower Cardian effects once they hit the board again. So keep that in mind when you use this. So we're going to jump right in. So this is really the only Flower Cardian monster that matters, uh, Moonflower Viewing. So basically, when she's summoned uh, during your main phase, you can draw one card, and if you do, show it. Then if it's a Flower Cardian monster, you get the opportunity to Special Summon, ignoring summoning conditions, um, and it can attack directly this turn. So basically, though, if you activate this effect, you skip the draw phase of your next turn. Here's the thing, though. This effect is once per Moonflower viewing. So essentially, the way this deck works is you essentially respam this girl to the board as many times as you can, knowing that every time you summon her, you're drawing a card from your deck. That's pretty nuts. So basically, this is the win con for the deck, is you want to summon this girl as many times as possible, doing it enough in combination with your other draw cards, by spamming this girl, you will get your Exodia pieces. Now, on the off chance, we've got to go to a little bit of a grind game with this deck. I do run the other Flower Cardians. Boardfly helps. Uh, the one that burns, <laughs> basically. Light Shower. 
uh, 3k uh, attack and defense, hard to get over, can burn your opponent every turn, really nuts. And then two Light Flare, this card is basically insane. It's a 5,000 attack point body, um, can uh, negate stuff, it is insane. Well y'all, that does it for this deck profile. If you liked this video, please be sure to destroy the like button, show some love, smash that subscribe button. Thank y'all so much for watching. And hey, if you enjoyed this content and want to see more content just like it, please head over to our Patreon because donating just $1 a month can help keep this channel growing. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time.